Hello and welcome to this review of the Necessary Arrangements Historical Romance book series by Sadie Bosk. I'm Olivia, your favorite resource for book recommendations you can easily screenshot. You're watching Random Olive Reads. First up is A Deal with the Earl. Julie is the daughter of a cruel and oppressive Marquess and avoiding marriage during her seasons while she waits for her childhood sweetheart to return from war. Unfortunately, her father has set up a match with Robert, an earl and heir to a duke, and she can't seem to get out of it. Despite starting off angry at being managed and betrothed without her knowledge, Julie soon makes a deal with Robert that she will go through with the marriage if he helps get her sister out of an asylum and bring her home to live with them. In exchange, she will provide the heirs that Robert needs and... While these two don't trust each other at first, once we see how kind Robert is towards Julie's sister, even Julie accepts that he's a good person and that their marriage is the only way to have rescued her sister. The romance here is incredibly slow burn, but satisfying to read. An Agreement with the Soldier is book two of the series. John is the third son of a baron and was sent off to war by his sweetheart's father to keep him away from her. Upon his return, he finds that he is now the baron of an impoverished estate, and he needs to marry an heiress quickly. He soon begins courting a wealthy duchess, and although they get along well enough and are expected to marry, John is friendly with and attracted to Samantha, who is her best friend. John tries to stay away from Samantha, knowing that his own baggage from the war will bring her down, but somehow ends up in a situation where he needs to marry her anyway. While Samantha tries to accommodate John's emotional distance, she gets tired of that pretty quickly and resolves to understand and help him instead. John has a lot of self-loathing in the story, but it's nice to see him slowly start to thaw around Samantha, as well as feel a sense of belonging on his estate. A Bargain with the Rake is book three of the series. Evie is a duchess in her own right, and but her money and estates are controlled by guardians who want to secure the dukedom for their own immediate family. She runs away from them after overhearing a plot to marry or murder her, and she proposes a marriage of convenience to Gabriel, who is a renowned rake. He agrees to her bargain, and they set off on the road to elope. We get to see all sorts of road trip calamities here with broken carriage axles, brigands, rainstorms, and limited shelter options. Evie tries really hard to resist any physical relationship with Gabriel since she thinks that he will someday break her heart. Gabriel has had a cold childhood and upbringing, so he thinks he won't be able to love Evie, only that he'd be able to bring her physical pleasure. It's a lot of back and forth between these two in terms of their emotional relationship, but their friendship is pretty strong as they make their way towards their wedding destination. Despite Gabriel's overly flirtatious nature, he does care for and comfort Evie the best that he can and always protects her. An offer from the Marquess is book four of the series. Isabel and Reese accidentally run into each other at a ball, fall into a tangle of limbs, and are very publicly accused of having a tryst. The only way to avoid a scandal is to get married, except that Reese has absolutely zero social skills and gruffly insults his future wife. He's got his own hangups from being betrayed by his former wife and witnessing Isabel in an indelicate situation many years ago, so he needs a lot of work before he's properly sociable. He's also got a hellion of a young daughter with an overly excitable large dog, Isabel is pretty much a spinster, having been jilted by a former fiancé, and now she runs her brother's household. These two people spend most of the book not communicating with each other and holding a grudge. However, they, they both slowly start to realize that they need to put a lot more effort into understanding each other and making their new family work. An Affair with a Viscount is book five of the series. Most of this book takes place during the house party that is hosted at the end of the previous book. Richard is an overbearing Viscount who is interested in an affair with actress Josephine, even though he will soon be betrothed to another proper young lady. Josephine rejects his advances at first, but finds herself attracted to him and wanting to give in. With her past experiences with not-so-worthy gentlemen, she's definitely wary and has a hard time trusting him. 
She's proven right, though, when she finds out that Richard is betrothed and he has a lot to overcome to win her back. We get some external drama here with Josephine's friend and another actor being forceful and vile, with Richard coming to the rescue in his overbearing ways, but it's always at just the right time. I like seeing Richard soften over time and realize that he really cannot live with Josephine and he has the full support of his family. A Wager with a Gentleman is book six of the series. Beatrice is an impoverished young lady from the country who is betrothed to a lecherous old man and seeks to complete her list of London adventures before her marriage. Her former fiancé's brother Adam catches her at a notoriously scandalous masquerade and rescues her from unwanted advances. Somehow these two end up in an arrangement where he will help her with a few items from her list and she will quietly go back to the country when her time is up. However, Adam is not enthusiastic about spending time with Beatrice and tries to discourage her from her list by picking out unpleasant experiences. He's basically a boorish prig for most of the story, except for the part where he has lustful fantasies about Beatrice. At some point, she changes the game and considers trapping Adam into marriage to rescue her from her unwanted fiancé, but then she feels guilty and questions her motives, etc. when she starts to develop feelings for him. Meanwhile, Adam is caught between feeling guilty for not rescuing Beatrice properly, but also wanting to stay away from her so that he can pursue his own goals. He'll need to come to his own revelations about how he feels about Beatrice and what to do about her other fiancé. So overall, this series makes the most sense reading in order as the characters overlap through various connections. Most central is the Lewis family consisting of Samantha, Isabel, and Richard and Adam, but they're also also closely connected with other characters as well. It's interesting to see how each book played on different types of agreements and deals between the two main characters and how they all had to overcome some external obstacles. Additionally, at the time of this recording, you can read the whole series on Kindle Unlimited. Thank you so much for watching this video. Links to all of these books are in the description box. Like and subscribe to get updates, and you can follow me on Instagram at randomolive.